the earth is spinning on its axis a thousand miles an hour. Like if I was God spinning a basketball a thousand miles an hour. And at the same time, it's doing that. The earth is going in orbit around the sun. And guess what rate of speed? 66,000 miles an hour. 66,000 miles an hour, thousand miles an hour. And on top of that, the whole solar system is going through the Milky Way galaxy. And guess what rate of speed? 400,000 miles an hour. 400,000 miles an hour, 66,000 miles an hour, and a thousand miles an hour. And to top it all off, as that's happening, the whole Milky Way galaxy is tearing through the universe. And guess what rate of speed? 2.2 million miles an hour. And I've got three passages here, three uh, three places in scripture that uh, some people draw out of these things, out of these passages that the earth is flat. One is Revelation 7, 1, which says, I saw four angels standing at the four corners of the earth, holding back the four winds of the earth. And so we've got the four corners of the earth. Well, that sounds pretty much like a, like a square or a rectangle or something, something uh, flat. And uh, this is where they get the idea that, uh, um, you know, people will point to this and say, see, Earth has corners. Uh, it's not round. It, it's, not, it's not spherical. It has corners. Well, because cosmology is not a theological position. Socially, he fits in somewhere between a hooker and a bartender. Spiritually, he stands beside Galileo because he knows the world is round. Not that it does much good, of course, when his editor knows it's flat. I do not fear what people think, especially about what the Bible says. given two seconds of thought to the flat earth claim. But when I heard that some of my brothers and sisters in Christ within the church are actually promoting this theory, well, I had to find out why. Some people believe that the world is flat, others believe it's a globe. Why are you so worked up about it? Not their matters, man. There are people within the body of Christ who love the Lord and know the Lord that believe things, well, that are sometimes actually false the question comes to be, is Jesus a flat earther? And the answer is absolutely yes, he is the creator. If it wasn't a flat earth, he would have described it as such in the creation account. Today we're dealing with the ultimate conspiracy theory, something you wouldn't expect in the 21st century. In fact, it's something that you wouldn't expect in any century for at least the last 2,000 years. It's the belief that the Earth is flat. It's not spherical, but totally flat and circular with the North Pole in the middle and the South Pole goes around the edges with high ice walls surrounding it. Flat Earthers are passionate, surprisingly, about science. We're really told we're not scientific and we couldn't be any more uh, argumentative about that. The Earth is flat, as far as I can tell, unless you can prove me wrong. Please do, because it's hell being a flat Earther, is it not? Is the Earth flat? Do you think that question is ridiculous, or do you think that I'm actually ridiculous for believing that the Earth is spherical? Kind of like my eyeballs. Believe it or not, there are millions of people on this globe, oops, that actually believe that the Earth is flat. Do you believe the Earth is flat? I know the Earth is flat. Seriously? Uh, astrology and flat Earth or true Earth are symbiotic. You cannot have one without the other. If you have a ball and you are spinning, flying through space, chasing this fireball, your constellations would change every now and then. And our constellations have never changed. The stars have never changed. We have the same 12 zodiac signs that we had back in the Dendera stones in Egypt over 5,000 years ago. We're not moving. It is flat stationary in an enclosed system with the sun, moon, and stars inside the firmament. Some people believe that the world is flat. Others believe it's a globe. Why are you so worked up about it? There's four corners. Well, that means, well, the Earth must be flat. 
No, my friends, that is not the case, and that is contextually wrong. So there's a lot of division among the Flat Earth movement. I've, I've gone to three Flat Earth International Conferences, and I saw that the very first one. Uh, people were hardly talking to each other. Some of them, some of the presenters were there with a, with a, with a, what they think is a biblical approach. Others were saying, oh, we're not going to do that. We're just going to yeah. do the science. So it's really fragmented. The one thing they're agreed on is that the earth is flat. And beyond that, there's a lot of disagreement about models and so forth. Down and up are defined in terms of the earth. So down is this way and up is that way, no matter where you're on the earth. So Jesus, Jesus comes back. He comes down from above from the heaven. I don't see a problem that on the globe earth at all. Um. How do we reconcile that when the Bible says the earth does not move, it's immovable, it stand, yeah. you know, it stands still, but so then this verse would imply that the sun and the moon stopped. Yeah. On the way of driving over yesterday with all the smoke. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 says, All scripture is breathed out by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped, for every good work. Therefore, to ignore the proper context of any given scripture is to set yourself up for failure. The, um, as far as every I shall see him, uh, God is God. I don't know how we'll handle all of this. However, point out, it says, even those who pierced him. And by my reckoning, the guys who pierced him have been dead for 1900 years or more. And when you see yourself as being watched by these heavenly bodies above you 24-7, you start to take your life a little bit more seriously. you believe the Earth is flat? I know the Earth is flat. So the idea of space travel is pretty pathetic. The idea of deep space is certainly debunked. NASA says we ought to put that on one of their rockets. I give you the evidence of what, of what you just said we should see if the Earth is a ball, but yet you persist in believing the Earth is flat. The globe on an axis, caught in gravity, due to the sun's immense elemental density. Well, there you have it. Did we really make a video about people believing the Earth is flat? <laughs> yeah, we did, friends. We all were deceived. We all had the spinning ball put in our classroom from the time we were little, little wee tots that says on the bottom, not for educational purposes. Are there still people who say that the Earth is flat? Yes, yes, there are. Thanks a lot for searching that out. I appreciate that. Fisherman in the box. Fisherman in a box.